Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. This video you are watching is being sponsored by NTFS for Mac by iBoySoft, an amazing software. You guys already know that. I hope I'm assuming that if you want to access any kind of NTFS file on your Mac, you cannot do that. You can absolutely watch them, copy from the drive to your computer, but you cannot write anything on that drive like this one. My friend has some files on this one and it's pretty essential and it's on NTFS. So I cannot access these files on my Mac. And even if I want to rename them, I cannot also do that. In order to do that, we need some sort of application. And in the market, iBoySoft has the most easiest user-friendly application. It's very, very easy. Anyway, that's why they have sponsored and I have accepted. Anyway, in order to install this application, there is a link in the description at the fast or in the comment section. You can just click that one. After that, you can get this application. Anyway, let's go into my computer and I'll show you the full walkthrough, how you can install, how you can download pretty much everything. So don't worry. Here you can see we are on our computer screen and right now this is the drive what is currently on NTFS format. So if I want to access this one on my Mac, what I will do is I will just simply insert this one on my Mac. Hopefully this will come inside of my Mac and here you can see the untitled 2. So if I open this one and right now I have three files, the COVID-19 files, don't worry. If I want to copy this file into my desktop, Absolutely, yes, I can do that. But if I want to delete that file, command delete, mm -hmm, it's not gonna happen. If I want to rename some file, no, it's also not gonna be happening. In order to rename these files, in order to edit these files, you need some sort of application. And iBuySoft right now is one of the most convenient application that you should absolutely try. In order to download the iBuySoft NTFS for Mac, you can click the first link on the description and you will be presented to this page or maybe on this page. Doesn't matter if it's on this page, you can definitely go to the free page as you wish if you want the paid version that's amazing if you want the free version that's also amazing whatever you want just click on the link in the description anyway for now i'll be downloading the free version that is the try it free once it's downloaded here you can see the package files just click on just click on it just click on continue just click on install put your password secret top secret password and let it do its stuff so here you can see it's showing me to purchase and activate. We can absolutely use the free version for a little while and if we enjoy this one, we can definitely go for the pro version. But for now, we'll be trying this one first. So click on the free version. Anyway, I bought NTFS for Mac. And once you download this application, install this application, as it's a system application, you should definitely need to install, I mean, restart the Mac. So if we do that, I think my screen recording will turn off. So at first, I'll be stopping my screen recording and I'll be back. ASAP. Once we come back to our main page, we'll again be clicking on the free trial if we want to go with the free version for now because we can update it anytime, doesn't matter. So you can click on the start, complete and NTFS drive detected because I've already inserted my NTFS drive on my computer. That's why the NTFS drive is now being showed on my computer. So it will be taking a little time. Here you can see the NTFS drive untitled 30 gigabyte and that's fine. Yes, right now if you click on open, it will take a little moment for the first time and here you can see it's showing on the location. If I right now want, I can even edit the name of this drive. Like previously, I couldn't even do that. Right now, if I want to change it like even 32 GV, yeah, that's how easy it is. Right now, you can edit everything on this NTFS drive. Rename this file. Mm -hmm. That's how easy it is. Pretty much like a normal drive. You can use this drive as a normal drive right now. That's how intuitive this thing is. Once you get this pen drive out and you put this pen drive back on, click on the OK. And after that, you can just click on the NTFS. You can click on your drive, click on open and it should be open. That's how easy it is. That's how easy and easy it is. You don't need to format the pen drive again and again to FAT32 or Mac OS extended journal or APFS, no need to do that. Just insert the pen drive on the Windows, you are good to go. Insert the pen drive on your Linux, good. Insert the pen drive on your Windows, that's good. Insert the pen drive on your Mac, that also works. So that's how easy this application works. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Right now, if you want, you can edit your NTFS drives very, very easily. And if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to thumbs up, be sure to buy their stuffs if you want to help them. You can definitely go and check their stuffs. That's amazing for Mac because in the Mac, especially if you have an M1 MacBook, they have their application totally optimized. So that's amazing thing. Anyway, that is all for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, share, comment, support, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Till then, see you in the next video. Bye.